Okay, what's going on, guys? Um, oh crap, what should I do here? Uh, let me see if I can change this background. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to change this to. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second here. That like everything coming up now. Okay, that seems a little bit more appropriate small logo there just just want to talk to you guys for a little bit here about um well not necessarily my experience with 911 but um cuz I was not in America at the time but my brother was in New York at the time so we were really worried about his safety um it was the only family we had in New York at the time, and I was still in I was still in Jamaica. Um, I was in school. I was how old was I? How old was I? I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I think I was sixteen years old. <laughs> The day it happened, um, the day it happened, I just so happened to be celebrating my birthday the same day. So, yeah. So, just in case you guys don't know, my birthday is 9-11. Not something I like to broadcast because ever since this event happened, I've never really enjoyed a birthday since. I can't remember the last time I really enjoyed a birthday. Um, I, I would have to say it was, it has to be sometime before that. I've never really gone out on my birthday, especially since I've been in America. Um, uh, came here in, in, um, 2004. So ever since I've, I've been here, I've never really been able to enjoy your birthday. Especially to the fact that I lived in New York for two years, homeless, all of that stuff that happened to me in New York. So, needless to say, you know, everybody on, on this day, everybody is remembering what happened commemorating their loved ones, you know, respecting the, um, the public servants that lost their lives and stuff like that. So I've never really been able, as I said before, I've never really been able to enjoy my birthday since today. I didn't even leave the house. And usually I don't because I know what I'm going to be hearing everywhere I go. People are going to be talking about this. They're going to have the news on to hear what CNN and everybody else is talking about it. Whatever the president's speech is going to, to be about it. it. It's just, it's an overwhelming, um, and I'm not saying they should not do these things. I'm just telling you why I don't leave my house on my birthday anymore. So, um, just in case you guys are wondering, Hunter Hunter will drop tonight as soon as there's one more episode I'm waiting to process before I drop the video. But as soon as that is finished, um, Hunter Hunter will be up. But we're not here to talk about Hunter Hunter. Just letting you guys know, just in case you're watching this and wondering, where's the Hunter Hunter reactions? Because um, I did promise Wednesday night. Um, as I said, I usually don't go anywhere. You know, I'll take all the phone calls. You know, my mom is going to call me. My sisters, they're going to call me. My brother, they're going to call me to, to wish me happy birthday. But my mom is always asking me, did you go anywhere? And I'm always like, uh, I really don't enjoy my birthdays anymore. I can't enjoy my birthdays. It's, it's not, I don't want to say I can't. It's kind of like I'm choosing not to. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because it was such a tragic time in the history of America, 
You know what I'm saying? It was... It wasn't on the scale of Pearl Harbor, but it was up there. It's one of those it's one of those things that you never wish happened. You know, I I, I remember where I was. I was in school. You guys hear me talk about military school. I was in military school at the time in 2001 when it happened. And I remember when I saw it, when, when they were broadcasting it on the TV and we were like, what is this a movie? Cause it just didn't seem real. Somebody was saying, no, this is real news. This is what's happening in New York right now. They just flew the planes and they were showing the video of the planes flying into the buildings, people jumping out of the buildings. It was, it, it I mean, when you see that start sort of stuff in movies and stuff like that, when you see that stuff in movies, you're a little bit desensitized to it because you, you would never think that this is something that's probably happening somewhere in the world. And these are real situations that could possibly happen until it knocks on your front door. You know what I'm saying? So... It's just, it's a very hard thing for me to talk about a lot of times because, because it occurs in such a day that was important to me at the time, like birthdays or like, you, you know what I'm saying? Birthdays are like, everybody wants to celebrate their birthday. Nowadays, people celebrate their birthdays for a whole damn week, sometimes for the whole month in America. This is not happening everywhere. <laughs> I'm just saying, from what I've noticed, that is it's the new in thing. People celebrate their birthdays a whole month, a whole, you know what I'm saying, a whole their birthday week or whatever. And when I try to go out on my birthday, all I'm met with is basically people, you know, it's always so melancholy anywhere that you go. You know what I'm saying? It's always so melancholy because there's always that sense. It's always in the back of their mind that this happened such and such years ago. And today is that day. So I don't know if maybe I should try to celebrate my birthday a day early or, you know, a day later. I don't know. You know what I mean? But on the day, I can't really go out to try to enjoy myself because I don't feel comfortable with enjoying myself. And I know life goes on and I'm not sad. That's that, that's not the thing. Like I'm not sad when I if I try to go out, I'm not sad. You know, I'm not sad. I'm not you know what I'm saying? It's just the atmosphere of everybody else. I feel like I'm not permitted to enjoy my birthday. You get what I'm saying? Um, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. As I said, man, it was a tragic day, you know, and respect to, to, to you know, anyone that has lost family members um, during what happened. Um... You know, it, it was an extremely tragic day. As I said, we were super worried because, you know, at that time, I didn't know where my where my brother worked at that time. Like that, you know what I'm saying? We knew he we he was in New York, but I, I didn't know where he worked. You know what I'm saying? Um, it just so happens that he doesn't work um, in that city. You know, he was working in a different city and we were worried about him because I don't even think my mom knew, you know, that he didn't work in that city. So when I got to New York in 2004, you know, everything seemed like it was back in back to normal. 
you know, everything seemed like it was okay, you know, just a regular day. But on September 11th, as I said before, it's like the atmosphere changes. Everything seems normal when you go to New York. But if you go to New York today, and anybody, if you're on this channel and you live in New York, you understand what I'm talking about. Today, September 11th, is always a very, it's, I don't know how to describe it sometimes because it's like, as I said, the atmosphere changes. It's kind of like if you're watching a TV show or something and it's like, you know, things go from a happy moment to a sad moment in the space of a second. You know what I'm saying? It, it It's, it's that like. You know what I mean? It's kind of like everybody is walking around just remembering what happened. So it's kind of, it's just, it's weird. It's weird. But in a, in a good way, because they're, you know, they're not forgetting what happened, you know? And as always, I will say F. Bin Laden, he deserved what was coming to him. Um... The world is a better place without people like that, but, you know, it's, it's just tragic to see, you know, I'm not advocating for executions. You guys know how my stance on that, but there are just some human beings that deserve to go because I'm pretty sure they didn't shoot him in cold blood. I know that for sure. You know what I'm saying? Of course he's going to resist. He know where he's going. <laughs> he, he know where he's going. You know what I'm saying? If if the soldiers didn't kill him, he damn sure wasn't going to last in prison. You know? So, in my opinion, I, you know, when it comes on to, to certain things and looking back on 9-11, it's one of those times where I feel like you know, by no means at all <laughs> am I vouching and saying Americans are the best and all of this other stuff because Americans have flaws just like everybody else. You know what I mean? They do. They act like they don't, and everybody wants to think Americans are super cool and all of this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, it's just like, y'all just some regular dudes, man. Y'all backbite do all the bad things and the good things that everybody else does you know what i'm saying just for me it's the human race it's never a, it's never about a particular race whether it be black against white is and that's that's another thing too on 9 11 it's like it's like they cut out a little bubble <laughs> for everybody to live in for one day where everybody is like on the same page <laughs> it's so i'm telling you today is one of the weirdest days you you can experience in america i'm telling you guys if you are american you understand what i'm saying to you right now or if you've lived there for a while or whether you were born here or you've migrated here you understand what i'm trying to say it's like they cut out, it's like there's a bubble that everybody gets in for one day and be like, we are all going to get along today. Forget all the, ra the racist stuff. Let's put it aside. And then we'll pick that shit back up tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it is. And I'm just telling you guys the how how I see it. Or maybe it's different for some of you guys in some, you know, in some areas, in some towns um, around, you know, around the states and stuff. But I know f for me and for everybody that I've talked to, and I have family basically all over the country. And when you talk to them, they're like, listen, man, it don't, it don't matter what city you live in. It's, it's like, it's like America gives pause to recognize 9-11 because it's such a, um, you know, it's just one of, it's just one of those events that is 
going to go down in history that people are going to be re remembering for hundreds and hundreds of years. People are going to be talking about this. They're talking about, just like how they talk about Pearl Harbor, Chernobyl, all of these events in history that change a lot of things, right? Change a lot of things, especially when it comes on to, like, um, immigration. Immigration has drastically changed because of 9-11 when it comes on to this country drastically changed it is so hard to get visas to come into this country now it's ridiculous before it was it wasn't so hard you get what i'm saying like it wasn't so hard it was it was a pretty easy process now it's like dude <laughs> let me tell y'all man it's a good thing that our mom and it's one of the things that i thank my mom for a lot of times, you know, randomly, I'll just tell her thanks because she looked, she's been looking out for us from we were kids. My mom, my mom was getting a visa for us from back home. So that's one of the things that I, I encourage so many Jamaican parents today to do is to try to get those visas for your kids when they're early, because unless you don't want your kid to ever travel. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying America is the only country that your kids could go to, but it, but immigration has tightened up for everywhere because of 9-11. It's not even, there are still some countries that you can go to and travel to, you know, that is not so bad. It's not so, so, um, it's not so hard to get into, but for the most part, when you're talking about first world countries, they're super hard to get into and to get visas to go to if you're coming if you're coming from a certain country. It's so hard to get there because of 9-11. Everybody tightened up security because because of 9-11. Because they don't want this people to get into the country and make these kind of plans again. I mean, that whole thing was up op, was operated and and was planned and up and a planned and executed right here. You know what I'm saying? So they don't want that to happen again. And I get it. I do understand that people want to, you know, a lot of people talk about immigration and I'm not, I'm, I'm not sitting here saying I, I agree with what Trump is saying to bad Muslims and all this other stuff. Like that's, that shit is a stupid to me because to me, terrorists is not necessarily Muslim. Terrorist is anybody who's, who, who, who is trying to to harm another country, another fellow man. Terrorism, man. It has nothing to do with just being Muslim. Yes, you might want to look at it and say, okay, they they're at the top of the food chain. What do you call what do you call yourself when you when you Americans go out there and bomb another country? What do you call that? Protecting America, right? And, and you know, if I've learned anything about propaganda, man, prop propaganda is one of those things that I don't that I don't I don't fool around with because you know Americans they you know they want to play a lot of times they want to say play play the innocent guy. You get what I'm saying? But in a lot of things you're just as guilty. You understand what I'm saying? So. It's tough sometimes. It's tough sometimes because I'm looking, I'm I'm on the inside looking out, and and they think sometimes they're not doing certain things wrong, but we all can agree sometimes. That's why you have so many people today on YouTube and speaking out against these things because we cannot sit idly by, and you know let somebody like Trump. Just do whatever the hell he wants, which is exactly what he's doing anyways. You exactly what I'm saying? So I love when people speak out against certain things that he does. He doesn't do everything wrong, you know? He, he doesn't do everything wrong, but he does do a lot wrong. You know what I'm saying? Some of the ideas he have, you got to be scratching the back of your head like, huh? <laughs> Who came up with this? You know what I mean? So... I'm just spitballing, man. I'm just talking because, as I said, man, 
is a lot of things that changed because of 9-11 for the better. You know, I've still have not been to the, to the memorial, um, the, the, um, I don't, the, I still have not been there. I haven't been there since it's been built. Um, I have been to Ground Zero. When I went to New York, I did go to see Ground Zero to see, you know, just to see what it what it was like. You know what I'm saying? It's an eerie feeling when you go there, you know. But, you know, you know, if you've never experienced anything, you could go there. If you've been, well, that means I haven't been there since they they put up the new stuff, the memorial and stuff, um, in remembrance of the lives lost there. So, uh, I don't know. As I said, man, now that I can, you know, <laughs> I can do this on my birthday now and, you know, talk to you guys, let you know my experiences or whatever. Who knows? Maybe next year I'll decide to go somewhere and it and vlog or do something. Um, so who knows, who knows? I've, it's not like I've never tried to go out. It's just that after a while, I just, I stopped, I stopped going out on my birthday because as I said, that feeling of the atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? And everywhere you go, whether you're going to a bar somewhere to eat or whatever people are eating, they've, it, you just, is it eating and discussing and talking about nine 11? It's, it's just, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's just my experience. And I have this weird thing, too, when it comes on to 9-11. And I've asked my mom about this before. Or maybe some of you guys out there can explain this to me. But I don't know if it's because I'm super subconscious about it. But it's like... I always look at the clock. <laughs> when it's 9-11. I don't know why. If it's in the morning. If it's at night. I look at the clock, it's 9-11. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what, what is it about that time. I don't know what is it about that. I think it's, I think it's a subconscious thing that I do, but it's just, it's weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's weird. You know what I mean? It's like I always look at the time when it's 11 minutes after 9. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. It is so weird. But anyways, guys, that is all I have to say on that subject matter. I know you guys are going to to shower the comment section with happy birthday wishes. Um, so thanks in advance. Um, you know, it, it's it's cool. It's cool. As I, as I said before, it, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I've just grown to accept that I probably never enjoy another birthday, but you know, I mean, not in the way that I would want to, <laughs> I should say, not in the way that I would want to, because it's not like I don't enjoy or I don't do things, you know, anything at all on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? If I'm home, I, you know what I'm saying? I'll hop on some video games or, you know what I'm saying? Have a, you know, movie night with, with the significant other or, or something. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I don't do anything at all. It's just that if I would rather go out but I can't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> but anyways, talk to you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, tell me if you guys was in New York, if you weren't in New York, um, you can share in the comment sections where you were when 9-11 happened and stuff like that. And I'll respond to you. Thank you guys for listening. As always, thereby reacts. Peace out.